guys and today I'm going to do my bookmas tag which I love doing this one every single year I did like a different one for a couple of years and then this year I'm doing the one I did last year I believe I did this one last year maybe it was the year before but it is bookmas tag we're gonna start with bookmas one so Books who a book whose plot and genre doesn't match up, like a partridge and a pear tree. Like, I don't really get why a partridge needs to be in a pear tree. But, oh my gosh, probably The Book of Boy. Because of the way I heard about this book, this is by Murdoch, if I remember right. I heard about this book that it was like a 2019 Newbery medalist. Uh, and it's a middle grade book and I heard it was a children's book about like a kid who's like it's like set in the middle ages and you don't really know what's up with him or what's wrong with him but then the book flips it on its head so I think it's like shown as a children's book medieval children's book okay but then the book flips it on his head and gets super religious all of a sudden and he turns out to be a, the spoiler of the book is he's an angel so I remember just feeling disjointed when I read the book just because it wasn't what I thought it was getting into. So that one is the first one. Um, the next one, <laughs> the next one is Two Total Doves, two character pairings you absolutely loved. Um, and I'm gonna go with Three Times Lucky from Sheila Turnage. This was a middle grade read. I, my favorite middle grade read I read this year is a Newbery Honor book way back. I don't know when but it was such a fun book and I loved the little girl and the detective and how they played off each other in this book this isn't like a romantic pairing by any means but it's a little girl who's a detective and she like kind of beats the odds of solving a mystery and it's just it's so fun she's so spunky it reads so easily and so quickly and you just you adore her it's kind of like a Andy Reid Gables it's like one of those characters you just want to you adore them and it's so different a little bit off the beaten path Loved it. So tag number three is Three French Hens. I seem to have to go get all these books. I did not prepare for this. So a trilogy you loved. Uh, but no better French Hens than these three ladies. Absolutely love this book. Marriage on Madison Avenue, Passion on Park Avenue, and Love on Lexington Avenue. I think this one is the first one, Passion, and then Love, and then Marriage is the third one. But it's about these three bad a kind of women who one this girl was like married to him for years and years this girl had an affair with him for a year and this girl was dating him and none of them knew about each other none of them knew this guy was cheating on him until he died and none of them want to go to the funeral so they all in the first book meet each other in the park and they're all dressed to go to his funeral and they have found out of course that he was married the two girls that were having the affair so it's quite a shocking, but these girls make the best of the friends. They help each other through romances and hard deals in their lives. It's just, it was so fun. I'm so excited. I read, I don't know if I read all three this year, but I read quite a few of them this year. And yeah, such a good trilogy by Lauren Lane. It was a lot of fun. Um, the next one, Calling Birds. Who would I like to talk on the phone? And this is gonna go to Happily Ever Ninja, I would wanna say, uh, by Lauren, or no by Penny Reid. This is a knitting of the series book like six, I think. Um, maybe it's not, maybe it's book five. But it was so fun. It's about this girl who's like a CIA agent and or she was an ex CIA agent and she became a mom. So I totally would want to talk to her because that's like a head flip, man. Like, and I want to know what she knows. So that was really cool. Next one is five golden rings. So a character you'd want to jewelry or like wardrobe shop or you'd want their clothes with um and i would say the girl from big summer this was a huge book this year uh in big summer i'll put it up right here <laughs> uh is about a girl but in the book she like describes she's like a plus size girl but she decides she gets like clothes fitted to her and they just make her look glamorous and beautiful and i just want to feel like that too and get clothes that are like specially made for me <laughs> um six geese of laying is a trilogy you would want more from so this one i'm gonna cheat on um, I don't have the heart one because I loaned it out, but Wild at Heart, Simple Wild, and Forever Wild. This is technically the third one of the book. It's a .5 book, so it's not a trilogy, but I would like this series to be a trilogy. This one is like a snapshot to like them getting married, Christmas holidays, meeting of the families. It's a fun little book. But at the end of Wild at Heart, I felt like their relationship grew so much that she's really settled in staying in Alaska and being there for him and being together forever. 
but at the same time I felt like she was just still a little bit lost in what she's doing she's an Instagrammer um but she's got to switch it up obviously and people are loving the stuff she's putting up but whether she really loves doing that I'm not sure so I feel like in the end of the book it was just like oh she has these projects she's gonna do but projects isn't like a career or a lifelong love so I would like there to be a trilogy instead of like a 2.5 <laughs> of the series okay the next one is swans of swimming so it's a water-based book so I read the daughter of the pirate queen the daughter of siren queen stumbled across this uh YA fantasy this year and absolutely adored it and loved it it was so much fun it's about a girl who's like half siren and her dad rules like kind of like the Caribbean ocean kind of reminds me of and he's like the ruler of the sea so she's like really bad a kind of like she goes and like like gets on a ship and gets herself kidnapped at first and she owns her own ship so I don't know it's really really cool and then it's coming to like who's right and who's wrong in this book really fun really fast a little bit of romance I had so much fun with these this year so eight maids of milking is a book set in the country or like your favorite book set in the country so this one definitely has to go to the giver of the stars by Jojo Moyes I read this book last this year and I absolutely fell in love with it adored it it's a historical romance book a little bit it's more like a historical coming into your own a bit as well it's historical women's fiction we'll put it that way <laughs> but it's about a girl who goes out to like the middle of the woods she's from like I think London or she's somewhere from England she's from like this high society and she gets stuck out there with nothing and with this guy she doesn't like at all who she thought was going to be everything um who's really wealthy and she, he's just not and he's boring and awful so it's about her coming into her own she becomes like a traveling librarian in the country um at the time because Eleanor Roosevelt has put it put out that program for people to be more literate and have access access for all information um the way libraries are supposed to be so yeah adored this love this one of my favorite books I read this year I highly recommend oh nine ladies dancing i've got to go to next year in havana by chanel clayton these boys are just kind of romantic and cuban and they talk about this food and they do dance in the book and i would dance with either of the boys either the grandmother's boyfriend um or the girl's boyfriend it's just such a good romance it's historical romance again a little bit it's like brought up to nowadays but it goes back to like when fidel castro took over in the revolution loved it though loved it back to the marriage on madison avenue i would say one person so it's like 10 10 lords leaving somebody you don't want to knock off is the guy who like cheated on all these amazing cool women um that's how like the book is joined i described earlier and then something borrowed i just this guy was so annoying and something borrowed and it's about a girl who ends up with a fiance so 11 pipers piping let's find out i think his name is jonah that's impressive if i remember his freaking name His name is Jonah. I even remember. <laughs> so 11 Pipers Piping. Sorry, I think my light just changed. 11 Pipers Piping is about a guy you want to dance with, uh, which is Jonah from Reborn Yesterday by Tessa Bailey. He's a vampire. He's got to know how to dance really well. And I remember, he's like the one dude's name I remember reading this year. That's pretty impressive. Anyways, this is about a girl who's like, uh, she's like a morgue person, like takes care of the dead. She finds him and she doesn't think he's quite dead which is true he's a vampire and then the last one drummers drumming what needs a drum roll and I would say this book <laughs> I read this year and it is uh three hours in Paris I don't know if this was a debut novel I feel like it was but it was so good so good and it needs a drum roll because this girl the whole time I could hear the drums in the background like kind of thing like she's on a feisty adventure through Paris she goes there like to kill kill the Fuhrer for like the three hours he spent in Paris and actually there's people trying to kill her who she thought she was safe with and it's like <sighs> through the whole thing and you feel like uh, yeah it's it's so good oh no way is this a debut novel she's author of 19 books so really really good deserved a drum roll though still and yeah it's just one of those books that get your heart beating reminds me of a drum roll it was so good it was one of my favorite books i read this year as well and those are all my book my tags so i will see you guys in the next book list i hope you guys enjoy i'll see you in the next one bye